welcome to the first episode of This Week in Linux. On today's show, we'll talk a little bit about the new version of Ubuntu that's coming out in April, the new version of WordPress that just released, the XORG multi-touch support being added, and VLC Movie Creator. All right, and first things first, Ubuntu 10.04 is going to include a brand new Me menu up in the upper right-hand corner. Me menu is going to include a lot of uh, social network icons. You can update your status information, your presence, if you're online or not, so on and so forth. Hopefully this version of Ubuntu will suck a little bit less than Ubuntu 9.10. Those of you watching this video most likely know what I'm talking about. I'm not certain if Gnome Shell is going to be included in Ubuntu 10.04 or not. I'll do some research and see if I can find that out. If you're not familiar with Gnome Shell, I'm going to include a link in the sidebar. One of the guys in the Linux group that I help run is actually a GNOME developer, and we talked at length about GNOME Shell. It's, it's a neat looking product, but I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Do you have any, any thoughts on it? Leave a comment below. WordPress 2.9 released this week included R, a new plugin updater, video embedder, image editor, and a cashmere sweater. Alright, so you know that WordPress isn't including a cashmere sweater. Don't write me hate mail over that. Whatever. In other news, ENAC over in France has been working on XORG multi-touch support. This is supremely cool. You need to check it out. Link in the sidebar. For the uninitiated, multi-touch is, of course, being able to grab the screen and stretch it, pinch it to zoom in, flip it, rotate it, etc., etc. Watch the video. I'll put it in the sidebar. It's really cool. <laughs> I'm going to be able to zoom in on boobies. And in some of the best news I've heard in a long time, the VLC project, the guys who created one of the best video players on the market now, they're coming out with their very own media editor, their very own movie creator that's multi-platform, should be easy to use. It looks a whole lot like Caden Live, which is what I use to do all my video editing. I'll put a link in the sidebar, check it out. The project doesn't have a binary released yet, but they, I, from what I've read, it looks like they're going to have one soon. As a little bonus, the guys over at Tux Arena put together a list of the three best games to try out if you're new to Linux and new to Ubuntu. Those were Super Tux, World of Padman, and Battle for Wisnot. If you are new to Linux and you are a PC gamer, I would also suggest Sour Bratton, uh, Nexuiz, uh, any of those first person shooters because there are really some impressive ones for, for Linux. Oh, Alien Arena as well because I've had some fun playing that. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of This Week in Linux. Leave any questions you've got below, comments, suggestions. I'll be happy to address whatever. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in Episode 2.